It seems like there's always some brickwork that needs worked on. If it looks intimidating, it's actually not. In this video, I'll go through the process on how to rebuild these steps and repoint so they look real nice again. I'll go through step by step, so let's go ahead and get started. The cost of this job will probably cost about $5 and mortar. If you buy a torn bag at the hardware store, it'll probably cost you a buck. The first thing you want to do is pull out any of the bricks that will come out. Once you've got anything that is real loose and just comes out, we'll need to get it all cleaned up. It's just going to snap right off. You want it out of there. This back brick here is pretty stable, but I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and redo it anyway. An old spackle bucket works really good to mix this mortar up. You'll just mix it up thoroughly until it has the consistency of something like butter. When you see this dust, you want to hold your breath. You don't want to breathe this dust in. Add a little bit of water at a time. Don't put too much in. It's really easy to put too much in. Shaking the bucket can help stir everything up. Before we put the mortar in, we want to make sure that all the foreign debris, especially this dirt, gets out of here. We'll knock off this old mortar. We want to make sure that it's clean and flat. You want to wet all the bricks down because if you put the mortar on dry bricks, it's going to dry up too fast. If the mortar is really old, you can just knock it off with a trowel. Chances are you're going to need a screwdriver and a hammer. When you put everything back together, you want it flat and clean. Nothing worse than having a little bit of mortar not allow you to re-flatten the steps. Chip and brick is definitely time consuming. You want to give the bricks a good drink. That way when you start putting the mortar on, it doesn't dry so fast. This brick got cracked, but it won't be that noticeable. We'll put it right here in the back. Now we'll start packing this mortar in. Make sure you pack it nice and tight. You can use your hands, but you want to use the trowel as much as possible. The sand and the lime will really dry out and scratch your hands, but at least you can feel that you're getting the mortar deep within the cracks here. If you want to experiment around with the trowel, you can see that you can get everything nice and flat and still get the pressure. Your hands will thank you the more you learn to use this trowel. Now with lots of water on the bricks, we're going to go ahead and start putting them in and getting them flat. Make sure everything is flat and even. You'll need to slide them around. You may have to tap the bricks, do whatever it takes to get them nice and flat. Sometimes you have to raise the brick by putting more mortar in between and then tapping it back down. You can use your trowel to make sure everything feels flush. Then with the trowel, go ahead and push mortar into all the grooves. It's always hard to resist the temptation just to use your hands to get it all in there. If you do use rubber gloves, you want to use thick ones because the thin ones will be torn immediately. Don't worry about getting too much mortar on the surface of the bricks because at the end, we're going to use a brush to get all this off. Now you can get the big stuff with the trowel. Just drag it all the way down to the next step. If the mortar starts to dry up, you can add a little bit more water. Just keep pushing all the mortar into all these cracks. Now that the mortar is in place, we can take this brush and start getting everything all cleaned up. You don't want to get the bricks too clean right now because if you do, you'll take all the mortar out from where you just pointed. As the mortar sets, you'll continue cleaning it with this brush until everything is nice and clean. This extra water will allow the mortar to be very smooth in between the bricks. You'll want to make sure you do all the areas of all the steps, regardless the condition of the mortar. That way, when you clean all the bricks up, it's gonna be a consistent texture through the entire surface. Just make sure you don't get too much water on the surface or you'll wash all the mortar out. Just keep the mortar moving from one place to the next. These bricks might pull in a lot of water, so keep water on the bricks. This brush will also keep everything moving. You can see here, all the surfaces are flat, clean, and smooth. Now we can carefully start to move all the excess mortar off the surface. As the mortar hardens, you can go ahead and keep cleaning the surfaces. So you can see, quite a transformation. I hope you found these techniques useful. If you've got any useful techniques, please leave them in the comments below. Well, I really appreciate your time, and thanks for watching.